In this video, I'm going to show you how to open an existing um, data set. What you want to do is, here I'm here in this data, I've opened it, there's no data here yet, is I can go to File, Open, and then I just navigate to the place where I have some data stored. Here I'm going to use this data set. I click on it, click Open, and it opens. Okay, simple and straightforward like most files. It is also possible to just go directly to where the data is stored on your computer, click on it, and it'll open in Stata. So that, that's a straightforward way if it's already in Stata format, which has a .dta at the end. Let's suppose that instead of opening a, form, a file that's already in um, Stata format, I want to open one that's um, maybe in Excel format, for example. Um, Stata will open, or import is what we call it, um, data sets in, in some other formats. I will note here it will not open data that's in SPSS format. You would have to go into SPSS, save it in Stata format, and then open it in Stata. Okay, you can't directly open one. So what I'm going to do here instead of open, I'm going to go to import, and you see that I have these kinds of these options of these types of files that it will that it will open. I'm going to open an Excel spreadsheet. So I've got to um, find it right here, okay, and, um, okay, so my Excel uh, file is now showing. Right here I click on this one, click on open, and you see that this window opens to help you see whether it's set up right. Now, by default, it, the first row it does not recognize right off as being variable names. It thinks those are all part of your data. So what you need to do is click on this button, import first row as variable names, okay? And then it pops those up as the variable names. Click OK. Do you want to continue to replace data in memory? What's that asking? Is all this data down here? Does it want, does it want you to... Now close all that now. Yes, I want to close that close that data and open this data set instead. So we see here that it's now uploaded. It's all there. It automatically takes the name and also makes it the variable label because it doesn't um, have any other option. If I browse, I can look at the data and and see what it is and so forth. 